good students. We are now on lesson number 2 for week 2 of General Physics 2. But before we start with this lesson, let us have first a prayer. And of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Once again, good day grade 12 students. How are you today? I hope that you are ready to learn another lesson for General Physics 2. But before that, let us do first a recap of what we have discussed in our last lesson. Let us run down the difference between the capacitors connected in series and parallel connection. Always remember that when capacitors are connected in series connection, their uh, total charge are always the same and their voltage drop is different. And also, you will need to get their inverse when you will have to get their total capacitance. And for capacitors that are connected in parallel connection, their charges are the one that is uh, that are different from each other and the voltage drop on them is uh, the same. Well, to get their cap total capacitance or equivalent capacitance, you will just have to add the values of the two or how many capacitors are there in the circuit. Okay, so now we will go to our lesson number two which is all about energy stored in capacitors. As I've told you in our first lesson, capacitors are energy storage just like a, a battery but for a small amount only. So how does capacitors store energy and how to calculate them? So for this lesson, we have this objective and that is determine the potential energy stored inside the capacitor given the geometry and the potential difference across the capacitor. So to calculate for the energy stored in a capacitor, you can use the following equations depending on the given values that are available. You can use this uh, any of these three, okay? So any from these three, so we have U. Okay, U is a symbol that denotes potential energy. It's equal to Q squared over 2C, or you can use CV squared over 2, or you can use QV over 2. Okay, so if there is voltage given, you can use uh, this formula. Kung wala siya, ito lang yung pwede yung gamitin. Okay, kung merong kapasitan and voltage yung given, ito yung pwede gamitin. Okay, so ganyan yan. Depende on the available values. Okay, so Q again is the columns or charge. C is farads or capacitan. Ah, sorry. C is uh, in farads or columns per volt or the, uh, the measurement of the capacitance. V is in volts or joules per column or the potential difference. And U nga is in joules or J or the potential energy. Okay, so let's Use the problem num uh, problem number two in our lesson one to uh, serve as problem number one for this lesson. Gamitin natin yung sinod natin dun sa problem number two of our lesson number one. So again, the capacitors in series muna yung gamitin natin. So from this example, we have these three values. We have the capacitance of two microfarads yung nakuha natin doon. Ang charge natin doon ay 36 microfarads. And ang voltage natin ay 18 volts. So since yung tatlo na to ay given, pwede natin gamitin kahit alin doon sa tatlong formula. Okay, so solution. Let's have the first equation. Yung We have U is equal to Q squared over 2C or potential energy is equal to charge squared over 2 times the capacitance. So we have yung charge natin ay... We have uh, 162 squared is equal to 26,244 microcoulombs squared over 18 microfarads is equal to 1,458 joules. Okay, so yun Okay. Okay, you might see that bakit 162 yung ginamit natin, okay? 
So, ano na, discretion? Ang tawag ba doon? Uh, una na siya, kasi pinagsama natin yung charge ng Capacitor 1 and Capacitor 2. Ang naibigay ko lang pala doon sa given ay yung sa charge ng Capacitor 1. So, pag pinag-add natin yung 162 yung ating charge. Okay? So, naman lang. So, sorry for that. And, uh, for our second equation, ang, uh, ang equation na yun ay u is equal to cv squared divide 2. So, yung c natin ay 9 microfarads. Yung volts natin ay 18 volts. I-squared natin yun, divide 2. So, pag in-squared yung 18, tinimes sa 9, ang lalabas ay 2916 microfarads over volt squared, divide 2. So, pag pinag-divide natin yan, ang makukuha pa rin natin ay 1,458 joules. So, the same lang then Okay, how about we use the third equation, which is QV over 2. So, yung Q natin, our charge again, ay 162 microcoulombs. Yung V natin ay 18 volts. Divide it by 2. So, 162 times 18 is equal to 2916 microcoulombs per volts. Divide it by 2. And our energy is again 1,458 joules. So, ganyang kalaking energy yung kaya store ng ganitong So, kapag may nawawala at hindi yun pwedeng gamitin, hindi yun yung gagamitin. So, pipili kayo doon sa tatlong formula na dapat gamitin depende kung sa ano yung given. O kaya naman, pipili kayo sa tatlo kung lahat ay given kasi isa lang din naman yung magiging sagot doon. So, let's try it for our parallel connection. So, ganun din. So, 9 microfarads ang gamitin na 108 plus 54 ay yung pala yun. It's equal to 162 microcoulombs volt is equal to 18 volts. So, we have U is equal to Q squared over 2C tapos is equal to 162 micro column squared over 2 times 9 micro farads. So, we have 162 squared is 26224 micro column squared over 18 micro farads. Ang mga kuha natin ay 1,450 joules. So, ganun din dito. So, 9 times 18 volts square divide 2. So, 2916 uh, microfarads. So, 1458 joules. And then, for the last, U is equal to QV squared. 162 times 18 divide 2. 2916 divide 2. 1458 joules. So, that's it for our lesson in our lesson number 2. Ganun lang kadali kunin yung potential energy ng ating uh, capacitors in series or in parallel. So, let us link arts naman sa ating science. Kung nakaraan yung tech sci or sci tech. Sorry, hindi ko na palitan yung pangalan ng title. So, touchscreen and capacitance. Actually, the title must be uh, Our Flash in Our Cameras and Capacitance. Most practical application of capacitors take advantage of their ability to store and release energy. So, ano natin yan. In an electronic flash unit used in photography, the energy stored in capacitor, see the figure on the left, is released when the button is pressed to take a photograph. This provides a conducting path from one capacitor plate to the other through the flash tube. Once this path is established, the stored energy is rapidly converted into a brief but intense flash of light. So, ganun pala yun. So, magkakonekta yung boto na yun sa kapasitor, nakoconvert agad yung electricity into light energy. Kaya nagbibig lang, flash. Okay? So, that's it. So, to sum up our lesson, uh, from the results that we get, when the capacitors are connected in parallel, it gives more potential energy. But when they connected in series, uh, they have the same value of capacitance, what do you think if you still remember the difference between these two types of connection is the reason for this to happen. So kung sa parallel, mas malalaki ulit yung nakukuha nating energy, ano kaya yung ka uh, kaibahan nito sa series? And bakit ganun yung nangyayari? Okay? So if you want to learn more about this lesson, you can open the Pet Simulation Capacitor Lab 